Hello everyone welcome to GK today today's topic of discussion is Kerala Health Department issued alert on West Nile fever so let's start our video recently the Kerala Health Department is on alert after the death of a 47 year old from Thrissur due to the West Nile virus earlier in 2019 a 6 year old boy in Mallappuram district had died of the same infection The virus was first reported in the state in Alappuzha in 2006 and then in Ernakulam in 2011. Now we will understand what is this West Nile virus and how does it spread. The West Nile virus is a mosquito-borne single-stranded RNA virus. It is a flabby virus related to the viruses that cause St. Louis encephalitis. Japanese encephalitis and yellow fever. Culex species of mosquitoes act as the principal vector for transmission of this virus. It is transmitted by infected mosquitoes between and among humans and animals including birds which are the reservoir host of this virus. West Nile virus can also spread through blood transfusion from an infected mother to her child. or through exposure to the virus in laboratories it is not known to spread by contact with infected humans or animals till now and according to the us center for disease control and prevention cdc it doesn't spread through eating infected animals including birds but you should always follow instructions for fully cooking meat now we will understand what are its symptoms The disease is asymptomatic in 80% of the infected people while the rest develop what is called the West Nile fever or severe West Nile disease. In these 20% cases the symptoms include fever, headache, fatigue, body aches, nausea, rash and swollen glands. While in the extreme case severe infection can lead to neuroinvasive disease. such as west nile encephalitis or meningitis or west nile poliomyelitis or acute flaccid paralysis it is estimated that approximately 1 in 150 person infected with the west nile virus will develop a more severe form of the disease while recovery from severe illness might take several weeks or months It usually turns fatal in persons with comorbidities and immunocompromised persons such as transplant patients. Now we will understand from where this virus was first detected. This virus was first isolated in a woman in the West Nile district of Uganda in 1937. It was identified in birds in the Nile Delta region in 1953. and before 1997 west nile virus was not considered pathogenic for birds but then a more virulent strain caused the death in israel of different bird species presenting signs of encephalitis and paralysis then in 1999 a west nile virus strain believed to be one circulating in israel and tunisia reached new york producing a large outbreak that spread it across the united states and eventually across the americans from canada to venezuela and according to who human infections attributable to west nile virus have been reported in many countries in the world for over 50 years now we will understand its position in india in india antibodies against west nile virus were first detected in humans in mumbai in 1952 and virus activity has since been reported in southern central and western india west nile virus has been isolated in india from culex vishnui mosquitoes in andhra pradesh and tamil nadu from culex qun q facetus mosquitoes in maharashtra and from humans in karnataka in 2013 the complete genome sequence of west nile virus was isolated from human samples during an acute encephalitis outbreak in kerala between may and june 2011 now coming towards the treatment of this virus right now no specific 
ferrolexis treatment or vaccine is available so only supported treatments are given to neuroinvasive west nail patients health authorities globally advise for personal protective measures to reduce the risk of mosquito bites such as using mosquito repellents and for public health departments to ensure larval source reduction especially at breeding and resting sites for the mosquito vectors so this is all about the topic thanks for watching